Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a body weight only fat burning cardio workout for you. I've included your cardio warm up and you won't need any equipment at all for this. I've also provided low impact options all the way through. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for a cardio warm up, we're starting off nice and light with that boxer shuffle. So you're just gonna get your feet moving just a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing low impact modifications all throughout. So here you would just kind of march in place. You don't even have to have your feet move the ground. So all the way through, this is a pretty intense routine. So you're going to need to listen to your body. The exercises are sort of hit-ish, but the intervals are longer. So it's going to be relatively intense. So if you need to, you can stop and take a break at any time. Otherwise, just keep pushing yourself as hard as you can for as long as you can. Next up, we're gonna do a step back stretch. So right here, stepping behind yourself. Enjoy that stretch of the upper body and your core and your lower body. You're not going into a lunge yet. You're just stretching those hip flexors out a little bit. So take your time, no need to rush. So if you've been sedentary, for a long time, you might want to do a couple extra minutes of warm up. There's never any harm in an extra warm up. Helps you push harder. So next up, we're doing butt kicker plus an arm swing. So just back and forth with your arms and you're kicking yourself in the butt here, warming up the front of your thighs. Try to get a full stretch back with those arms and make sure a different arm is on front each. Or sorry, on top each time. Let's get a slightly different stretch that way. Alright, next up we're going to be doing a standing jackknife. So you're going to stand nice and tall and bring one toe up to meet one, or sorry, both hands. So right here, coming up and elongate again, stretch overhead. Again, there's not necessarily any rush here. Just start to pick up the pace as you start to feel more warm in each range of motion. Try not to swing your leg, try to use all your own strength to get that leg up there. Don't swing it, no momentum. Three seconds left. Next up, we're doing a deadlift fly. So right here, you're coming down, arms right in front, and I'll pull your arms back, drop them back down, and squeeze your glutes to bring yourself back up. I always get winded in the warm up because I'm a little bit nervous every time I film, at least at first, and then by the time the hit or the real workout comes along, of course you're gonna be winded again. But that's okay, that's what we're here for, so that's fine. So next up we're doing a side lunge toe touch. So to one side, back in the center. Down to that other side, back in the center. So you can keep this as shallow or as deep as you need to for your fitness level and how warmed up you are. So if you need to, just lean into it just a little bit. You don't even have to touch the toe, just do what you need to. You should never feel any real pain. You've got five seconds left. All right, next up we're doing a kick plus a toe tap. So you're coming up in front and then touching down. Getting those legs warmed up. We're almost done with our warm up here. We've got 10 seconds left. I'm going to be switching to a basic squat. Three, two, one. All right, so right here, you're sinking back into your heels, you're weighting your heels back flat, eyes up above or right in front of you. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders. Squeeze your glutes to bring yourself back up. Pull in your core. And make sure you're not holding your breath. Five seconds left. All right, next up are butt kickers. So nice and light on your feet. You're kicking yourself in the butt faster this time. We're bringing our heart rate up again. So if you want it low impact, just stay right here. You can go as fast as you want to. Just keep your feet uh, one on the ground at a time so you're never jumping. That works if you have uh, neighbors below you too. They're trying not to make mad. <clears throat> Five seconds and we're switching to split jumps. So nice and light on your feet, just jumping your feet apart. If you want to make 
get low impact here and here, front and back, and then just alternate whether you start with the front or back first. Three, two, one. All right, so that is our cardio warm up. We'll get right into that workout routine. All right, so our first interval is a kickoff plus a side squat. So this is kind of fun, and like I said, I'll show you modifications so you can make it work for you. We're gonna be putting your hands on the ground and kicking up into almost a handstand and then directly into a side squat. So up, and if you can, don't even set your foot down on the ground. So you're using more balance than anything else. If you need an easier version, you can come here and go there. You can even come down and touch your toes and go to the side lunge. So whichever version you need to, Push yourself and stick with, like I said, the hardest version as long as you can. And then move to that easier version. Never stop moving completely. So we're doing 40 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, twice through for exercises in groups of two. And our active rest, we're at least doing our boxer shuffle. You can always be my guest if you want to do some high knees or some burpees. Do what you need to to make yourself feel good and tired by the time you're done here. All right, next up, we are doing a jumping jack plus a front kick. So right here, and then nice and strong in the center. Just one kick. If you want it low impact, out, kick, out, and kick. And then just keep that going. Otherwise, move as fast and as crisp as you can. Try to feel strong. Make sure you're breathing, pull in your core, make that jumping jack a full jumping jack. No bent arms, don't, you know, like try to make it count. Get those arms stretched out there. You can slow it down if you have to. Always favor range of motion over speed. Got about five seconds left. All right, there's one down. So we're doing that group one more time through. So we're going back to that kickoff plus a side squat. Ooh, it's a good sign. We're winded already, right? All right, here we go. So up, get up as far as you can comfortably. Like I said, try to not bring that foot down, but if you have to, come back here and then into your squat. You can always break it apart if you need to. Got about 10 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, that's it for those. So we have one more of those uh, jumping jack kicks. Take some nice deep breaths. Two, one, here we go. Find a breathing pattern that works for you. Just make sure you're not holding your breath. Got about 15 seconds left. Remember that low impact option? It's the same thing, just minus the jumps. All right, so there's one whole group down. One more of those and we'll break away for a water break. Got four more work, uh, minutes apart of work though. So we're doing up and over jump squats for 40 seconds. So right here, Jump over, so you're landing as soft as you can. For a low impact, just stay here. You can either come up in between to make it easier or to make it harder, just stay low the whole time. Otherwise, you're exploding from left to right. Like I said, the key here, half the work, is landing softly. So control yourself. Control your body, use all of those muscles. Oh, okay, those, one of those down. So now we're gonna drop down 
we're going to be doing um, side plank kicks. So you can do a full plank or you can drop to your knees just to make sure your arm, your elbow is planted right underneath that shoulder and you're kicking out in the front. So get a nice stretch right here and then come forward, chop that arm down to meet that leg. So if you get too tired, you can take a break. You can stay right here in plank. You can even do one rep and then do a plank dip. You get a quick break that way, but you're still moving and that's what counts. So do what you can. You got about five seconds left, keep it going. All right, so remember which side you did that on. The next interval, we'll do the opposite side. But for now, we're doing those up and over jump squats. So take one good last deep breath here. Start it up. Make sure that you're not um, hunching over. So you don't want to stay down like this. You want to come up each time. See, a lot of people do that where they're not really getting that explosive part of the jump squat, which is the most effective part. So don't hunch over. Try to go straight up and over. It hurts more that way. You'll know. You'll know when you're doing it right. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, so one more of those side planks. Chop down to the floor. Ooh. This is dangerous territory because it's kind of like almost nap territory. <laughs> like I am stretched out on the ground now. Let's take a quick break here. So as much work as this is, it ends up being kind of a rest interval from those more intense hit ones. So though your muscles are burning, you'll feel yourself kind of slowly catching your breath through this interval. 20 seconds left. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, so this is our quick water break. So grab a drink of water, but don't stop moving. Don't go too far. We'll be right back in just a second. We're starting off the second half of this routine with a side lunge plyo push off. So we're gonna be coming down, you're gonna tap this foot with the same arm and then tap the ankle on the opposite arm here. So you're really pushing off as far as hard as you can, as powerfully as you can, and you're never setting that foot down while you're standing up. Just tap the inside foot. If you want the easier version, you can come down, stop here, and then even bring a leg up. But just do what you can for your balance. Oops. Move as quick as you can, as clean as you can. Pull in your core. Just remember which side you're on. We'll come back to the other side next time around. All right, so for this one, we're doing two knees, kind of kickboxing style, and then lunging back, and then jumping to switch legs. So it's less, it's more fun than it sounds. So, take a deep breath. All right, here we go. So knee, knee, come back into a lunge, pop to switch. So knee, knee, lunge, and switch. If you want lower impact, stay here, do your lunge, and then come up to the center to switch. Otherwise, you move as quick as you can. lower body's feeling that. Five seconds. Whew. All right, so we're going back to that side lunge with the plyo push off. 
on the other side. So I'm gonna be going this way this time. Keep your feet moving, swing those arms around, shake those muscles out if you need to. All right, here we go. So tap down, same side, and then tap the ankle, that opposite side. So think of getting down here and then pushing off as hard as you can with that leg. Fifteen seconds left. Remember your easier version here. Five seconds. All right, so back to that lunge plus the knees. 10 seconds break here. Enjoy it while you can. We're actually almost done. There's a light at the end of the tunnel already. All right, here we go. So two fast knees, knee, knee, lunge and switch. seconds. Ten seconds. Three. All right, so we are done with that group. Next up, we're doing two split jumps plus a squat drop. This will be fun. All right, so remember, nice and light on your feet. Here we go, one, two, and down. One, two, and down. So, low impact, just stepping into these motions. Otherwise, make sure that you're leading with a different leg each time. So, this time, my right leg jumps first. Next time, my left leg jumps first. So get your brain in the game. I see trainers out there they're putting out these ridiculous thousand rep workouts and they do the same leading leg every time. I'm not trying to throw shade, but that's like, that's 101. You gotta try to break those habits, you know? Get your brain and your body in the game and you can help be uh, develop smarter muscle. A body that's more coordinated. Oh, okay, so. Next up, we have two reverse kicks plus a jump. So, be kicking back, back, and then up as hard as you can. Back, back, up. Try to get a good kick there. Squeeze your glutes. If you want a little impact, just cut out the jump. Kick, kick, and calf raise. So now we're going back to the split jumps. Oh, keep your feet moving. Two, one, here we go. Remember, take control of that landing. Keep your back flat during that squat. Weights in your heels. Make sure you're Knees are tracking in line with your toes and not wobbling in or out. Here they are. Just cut it down to a regular squat. Stay right there where you can control it better. All right. So back to that reverse kick. I think we'll try it one on each side this time. So we'll kick on each side of the body and then jump. See if that feels better. Improv time, right? So kick, kick, and then up. And then next time you're gonna lead with the opposite leg. Just make sure a different foot starts first each time.
I'm gonna need lots of water after this. Under 10 seconds. All right, so this is our last group. Oh, for this one we have five mountain climbers plus the plank jack. It's gonna be dropping down to the mat for this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and hop apart. Okay, make sure you're starting with a different leg each time. The lamp pack version is one, two, three, four, five, out and tap, out and tap. All right, keep it up as long as you can. This is where you can hear all the water in my belly jostling around. What a soundtrack. All right, there's one of those. So next up we have a uh, pop squat crossover. So I have a jump, uh, jump squat variation here. We'll be tapping an opposite ankle before we jump up as hard as we can. So. Just finish yourself off here, tap that ankle up, get those feet together, and hands over your head. So low impact, calf raise, tap, calf raise. You can even go deeper into a squat if you like. You wanna make it harder without adding more jumping. Under 10 seconds. Oh, okay, so we have one more round of both of those, and then we're done. We'll get a well-deserved cool down and stretch. I'll share one with you at the end of this routine. So we're gonna get down for those mountain climbers. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and split. easier version, just tap it out, just break it down, slow it down, 15 seconds, five seconds, okay, I'm not sad to see this go. I hate mountain climbers personally, like worse than burpees, but they're done, that's behind us. So we're gonna move into our next animal, that uh, crossover pop squat. So down on one ankle, up above your head, and keep it going the best you can, the hardest you can for the next 40 seconds, that's all you have left here. seconds over halfway done here's 10 two one all right oh my gosh yeah so this is a sweaty one which is good so make sure to drink lots of water when you're done here Eat a good, healthy, whole foods meal as soon as you can after this workout is done. And don't forget to cool down. <laughs> Otherwise, good job guys, this workout is complete.